Well, housing authorities are ready to take a hard look at housing voucher practices in Middletown. Some say next month's audit is routine, but others believe it's because the city is cutting back on voucher use. In a story you'll see only on Nine on Your Side, reporter Tom McKee is live with the issues that are driving this debate. Tom? Well, Carol, Middletown's mayor got this letter May 31st saying HUD is going to audit the Middletown Public Housing Agency the week of July 16th. Acting city manager Les Landers says he believes everything is just routine. But what I'm told, it's the words in this document, the city of Middletown Section 8 analysis done last October, that caught HUD's eye and drew them to Middletown at this point in time. The analysis says Middletown can have 1,662 vouchers, the highest number in Butler County, and twice as many as Hamilton. That puts pressure on the police department for more service calls as the sworn force is reduced and budgets are cut. It's the same for the fire department. At the same time, the document says the number of working poor is up and 21% of the 48,000 residents are living below poverty level. The schools find over 70% of students qualify for federally assisted lunches. City leaders want to turn things around and attract more good-paying jobs. Reducing the voucher number to 10% of the housing stock is part of that long-term plan. Vouchers allow participants to live in approved HUD units spread throughout the city. If this program's done and it's ran correctly, the person that's living on that street that is getting some type of uh, help from HUD, from the federal government, the neighbor shouldn't even know that they are receiving it. Jeff Faulkner has been a landlord in Middletown for 20 years and wants to keep Section 8 vouchers as part of his business. This 40-unit complex has eight Section 8 residents, and overall he has 25 to 30 vouchers out of 150 units. He says vouchers allow people to better themselves. This community needs it. And uh, th there's a lot of people that say that it doesn't, but um, it's, it's thrived so far with it. And uh, we, we have a lot of vacant homes that could be filled. Now, Landon, I asked Landon to go on camera today to explain Middletown's position. He said he had no interest in going on camera at this point in time. Community Reinvestment Director Doug Adkins uh, did not return my, turn my numerous calls seeking comment. Now, the Middletown Public Housing Authority Board meets tomorrow night at 530. That board consists of all the Middletown Council members plus the city manager. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, live at the 9 on your side newsroom in Butler County. Thanks a lot.